Peckham, still not a place I'd choose to wander about in after dark. Not because it's wild and dangerous, but because in the dark, you couldn't see the gorgeous colour coding that makes Will Allsop's Peckham Library such a visual treat. The new libraries already had a visible impact on the community. There's an awful lot of enthusiastic new reading going on in it. And if you need proof of the power of buildings to make a place and change a place, here it is. Quite separate functions. I mean, The judges were impressed quickly by the inside of Peckham, but took against the various bits of library clutter spoiling the outside. Well, look, it looks a bloody mess. What, because of all the stuff you can see through the... Yeah, I mean, look, story and filing against... If I was the architect, I'd be in tears now. I'd be crying. I'd be going, you know, where is it all going wrong? A chap from the council showed the judges round and probably wishes he hadn't. None of this was taken into consideration. It's itty-bitty posters, it's messy, everything's stuck on the doors. Because it is the, the integrity of the design when actually what you're focusing on is this really ordinary, horrible screen. Why isn't there a structures with inside the building for this, this kind of thing? Why wasn't that considered? Um. It looks a mess. I think the architects went too flighty on the design and too arty and not actually considering the needs of the communication within the building and what the actual essential building's for. May we come in? Oh. This is great. And these, these shuts open sort of uh, black it up. I thought it was probably a bit weird and willful. These pods, you think, well, that's a bit silly. But actually then you go inside one and you can see how well it works. And you can see those two in there. A, they can stand and chat and look down on the rest of the library. But it's very private once you're up there. You can imagine what you need in a library, that you can find your personal space in many ways, but at the same time you're part of something that's uh, communal, and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a triumph, actually. It's inviting, it's colourful, it's playful, it's got this extraordinary sort of orange beret per perched on the top. It's, it's a sort of beacon in a clapped-out bit of South London. I'm joined by the architect of Peckham, Will Allsop. Now, it's had an immediate impact, hasn't it, on the, on the community. I went a, a typical afternoon, everybody was reading. You must feel so happy about that. Uh, well, I am. I mean, in the end, any building that you do, it's well used and enjoyed by people and encourages its sort of fundamental use is absolutely vital. So, as I understand it from a client, the librarian, um, there's been 3,000 new readers since it opened six months ago which in the middle of Peckham is pretty good. It is a rough area, isn't it? Did you have to make any you know, special provisions for that? No, I, I'm actually, I don't like that sort of assumption. I know, but it <laughs> assumption. is. No, it is. And you know, people say it's deprived and all that, but we specialise in that, and they're, actually they're the best people to work with. And in the end, you know, they're, they're, they are the people that actually respond to what you can do to make a sensuous, experiential building. It's the best way that I know as an architect that we can actually serve those sort of purposes, like a library. I mean, traditionally, libraries are boring. <laughs> I hope that it's not boring, one of the reason, people go. One of the reasons it isn't boring is because of the colour. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've really used colour, I think, very effectively there. I like, uh, well, I, I like colour, and, and I use painting, and I'm, OK, I'm not an artist. A lot of people say, well, you make paintings, but I don't. I make explorations of what a piece of architecture might be. And that uses in necessity colour. But often, I used to have an office to overlook London. And you look at London on a typical sort of grey winter's day, and you think, what you, what you actually really need is a great slash of cadmium orange across the skyline, and it doesn't exist. Well, hopefully, I'll have the opportunity, and I had a small opportunity in, in Begum, to actually provide that slash of colour.